Você vai ver agora um carro incrível. Ele já rodou 5 milhões de quilômetros. Qual será o segredo dele? Solta aí, produção! I've been racing cars since as long as I can remember. Caring for them, studying them, pushing and testing them. So when I heard about the record-breaking Volvo P1800 with 2.7 million miles, which now has over 3.2 million miles and is still going, I wondered, how is it possible? How does a car stay on the road 20 times longer than the average car? It takes an exceptional level of care to exceed potential, to optimize output, to establish a world record that may never be broken. I've disassembled over 100 of these Volvo engines. So when I was asked to analyze the engine parts from the world's highest mileage car, what I found was simply astonishing. The camshaft, an original engine part with 2.7 million miles of use, has an amazingly low amount of wear relative to the amount of miles it has been driven. In most Volvo pushrod engines, the camshaft is lubricated by splash, not pressure. So the greatest stress within the engine is between the camshaft lobe and the lifter, making it one of the most oil-dependent engine parts. Now, as far as the lifter, another original engine part with 2.7 million miles, my analysis showed a minimal amount of wear, which is especially evident when compared to the concave wear of used lifters from another vehicle. The used lifters have three times the amount of wear with about 10% of the mileage of the world record Volvo. While the lifter has held its shape quite nicely, there's also no major pitting of the surface. The piston from the car's engine has over 2 million miles of use. This piston has gone up and down inside the cylinder over 6 billion times. In a study done at Cambridge University, they etched down into the surface one layer at a time, analyzing each layer's elemental composition. As we can see, there's very little carbon buildup on this piston. I've seen pistons with far fewer miles show much greater signs of carbon buildup. You can also see that there's almost no scuffing on the skirt of the piston. And the bottom of the piston has no scuffing at all. Overall, the piston is in remarkably good shape. In analyzing these parts, it's quite clear that their condition, even after millions of miles of use, is extraordinary. To me, this is a direct result of engineering, proper maintenance. So that's how this car's life was extended 20 times longer than expected and set a world record in the process.